squad it's quads and welcome back to another review video today we are taking a look at the topties ts301 wind meter see this has a actual name that begins with an a and ends in meter and i'm not going to attempt to pronounce it and butcher it this was sent to me free of charge by topties i received no payment for this review all the thoughts feelings opinions and facts in it are my own and they won't see it until you guys do now onwards it was sent to me at the start of the summer and initially i intended to get a review out fairly quickly but then i thought it's not particularly windy i, I did go on vacation and on vacation we went near the coast and it is quite windy there but even then it wasn't particularly windy so i thought i will do a long-term review instead now just before we get into the review i do want to thank our members barry morgan fpv dizzy dean fpv mark duplex and only drones it's 1.99 a month you'll get a shout out in every video and we do some backstage behind the scenes photos and just recently when i get ahead of myself i'll also release the new videos to members slightly earlier than to the public so go and join them it's only 1.99 a month now i tested this in various locations over various months see most of the things I do either involve flying a 5 inch or a Mavic 3, neither of which have a real issue with wind. But just recently, I've been sent a few sub 250 drones. I've had the Potensic Atom. I'm currently reviewing the Holy Stone HS900. I've had the sub 250 Oasis Fly 25 and 30 and many other drones which do struggle or struggle more in wins and it's great isn't it you can either just guess or you can check a weather app but that weather app might not be exactly right for exactly where you are and if you want to be safe especially if you're flying a sub 250 camera drone they don't have the power to weight ratio of a larger drone they don't have the power to weight ratio of an fpv drone so it's always good to know that you're within your operating envelope now all drones will tell you how much wind you can fly in but knowing how much wind there is can sometimes be guesswork but not any longer with the Topti's TS 301. Now we talk about who it's for and obviously I mention generally speaking the people who get the most use out of it when it comes to drone flyers are people flying the smaller crafts so your tiny whoops yeah your toothpicks your sub 250 camera drones but it's also helped for people who do sailing, golfing, and anywhere else where you need to check the wind, the wind direction, etc. Now, as we have a quick look at some of the key features and benefits of it, we can see on the screen that not only does it show you the wind speed in kilometers, miles per hour, knots, and meters per second, but it also shows you what the temperature is, what the relative humidity is. It's got a backlight. You can select the the maximum wind speed that is detected in this session, the minimum wind speed that is detected in this session, or the average wind speed that is detected in this session, or you can just have a live view of what the current wind speed is. In the testing that I've done, based upon the forecasts and the knowing approximately, based on experience of what the wind speeds are, this comes out pretty accurately. Um, obviously, it's always different when you're higher up. It's always different from weather station to weather station. But generally speaking, it seems to be spot on. It picks up the wind really easily. So if you was to say, try and blow on it from a distance just to see how effective it is, it really does pick it up quite easily. So it's not one of these things that only picks it up once it gets to a certain speed. It seems to be really uh, sensitive, even at a low value. If we look at some of the pros and cons of using something like this, uh, I would say probably one of the biggest pros is the fact it comes with Duracell batteries. Who does that? that? That really doesn't happen these days. Not only do you get batteries included, which is rare, but you get Duracell batteries included, which is completely unheard of. So fair play to Toptis for that. This will last and last and last. You probably won't need to change batteries for many years, to be fair, because it's a really low power draw on it. Um, and that's that's phenomenal obviously the main pro is knowing the temperature that you're in because you can also you can check the wind speed and that's great you can check the relative humidity uh, which is great and you can also check the temperature which is great now wind is not the only problem that we have with drones as i discovered to my detriment in my early days i flew in freezing fog uh, i flew in a field it was completely safe it was completely you know it wasn't a problem 
I returned back, um, I don't know, maybe two or three minutes after takeoff and my props had begun icing, which obviously is a, the phenomenon where the tips of the blades have a buildup of ice on them because they're hitting the freezing fog and it's, it's freezing because of the speed it's going around. Ultimately, I didn't have a problem because I landed so quickly because it was too cold to fly. I'm <laughs> being realistic about it. However, if you're in a country whereby you need to fly because you've got a job and you're not sure what the humidity is and whether that's going to likely freeze, not only will this tell you how much wind there is, it tells you what the actual temperature is where you stood and the actual humidity where you stood so you can make a decision on whether you're going to get icing or not. Brilliant. And I would say probably the only con about this um, is wind speed is different 400 foot up in the air than it is on the ground. But that's a moot point really because... As long as you know roughly what you're dealing with, you've got a good idea of what it's going to be like up there. Uh, and anybody with any experience knows you can just generally factor in um, a multiplication depending on how high you go. Uh, and then I would say probably the only other uh, negative point about it really is the fact that I often forget where I've put it because it's so small and compact. I'll either throw it in my bag and then look in my room for it or I'll put it in my room and look in my bag for it. But again, it's it's not really an issue. So as always with these reviews, the final segment question is, should you buy it? And I've got to be honest, I have gone through many years of drone flying without one of these, but I've always said to myself, this is something that I probably should get. Now I've got it, I can't live without it because sure, if I'm going out flying a five inch, I know that I've got the power to weight ratio, it's not a problem. If I'm going out flying a Mavic 3, generally speaking, I know I'll be fine, although I will have this in my bag just to make sure. But if I'm flying anything else, then I will always pull this out and I will always check to make sure that the weather is not going to conspire against me and make me lose a drone. There is going to be a link down below in the description for you to buy one. I would recommend anybody who's a drone flyer to buy one, because even if you don't use it very often, having it in your bag with you when you're out for a situation when you think this is borderline do i risk it potentially lose your drone do i not risk it potentially not get the shot or not do the job so at least if you've got it you're not you're taking out the guesswork are you is what i'm trying to say i really would recommend one like i say i did manage to fumble through many years without one but ultimately now i've got one i can't live without it Peace.